Welcome to the King County Video Voters Guide, your chance to hear directly from the candidates in the August primary. This is a vote-by-mail election. Instead of going to a polling place, ballots will be sent to all registered voters. In this edition, we've invited the candidates who will appear on the primary ballot for King County Council, the Port of Seattle Commission, and representatives who support and oppose King County Proposition 1. The offices are nonpartisan. Each of the statements is up to two minutes long and unedited. The speakers appear on your screen in the same order as they will appear on the ballot. If only one or two candidates filed for a seat, that position goes straight to the general election and does not appear on this primary ballot. First up, King County Proposition 1, the Veterans, Seniors, and Human Services Levy. King County Proposition 1 concerns replacement of an expiring Veterans, Seniors, and Human Services Levy. If approved, this proposition would fund capital facilities and services for veterans, service members, and their families. It would promote housing and financial stability, healthy living, social engagement, and service access and improvements for seniors, caregivers, and resilient communities. If approved by the voters, King County Proposition 1 would authorize an additional six-year property tax levy beginning in 2024 at the rate of $0.10 cents per $1,000 of assessed property value. The amount collected in 2024 would be the base for calculating annual increases of the tax by 3.5% through 2029. The proposition would exempt eligible seniors, veterans, and disabled persons from paying this tax. This measure will appear only on the primary ballot. All voters in King County are eligible to vote on King County Proposition 1. Hello, King County. My name is Karen Lee, and I'm the CEO of Plymouth Housing. Please renew this levy to maintain vital King County services for veterans, seniors, and vulnerable populations. Voter approved in 2005, 2011, and 2017, your vote will build on levy success by preserving housing, employment, counseling, and other services. Veterans will keep one-stop service centers, job training, financial assistance, housing, and supportive services. Since 2018, the levy has contributed to a 40% reduction in veteran homelessness. Seniors will keep expanded countywide services at 39 senior centers, as well as housing, tax relief support, food assistance, and programs for healthy aging in place. Each year, 28,000 seniors use levy-funded senior centers. Neighbors facing barriers will keep mobile and 24-hour assistance for gender-based violence survivors, legal assistance, shelter, mobile medical vans assisting people experiencing homelessness, and supports for individuals with disabilities. Since 2021, more than 8,000 domestic violence or sexual assault survivors have received levy-funded services. Since 2017, the levy has helped over 185,000 veterans, seniors, and vulnerable people. Programs are independently audited for efficiency. The rate is identical to 2017, and the median valued home will pay $17 more per year. King County Prop 1 is endorsed by veterans advocates, housing and health providers, unions, senior organizations, Executive Constantine, County Council, and more. Please join me and vote yes to renew this important resource for so many neighbors. Thank you. Metropolitan King County Council. As the legislative branch of county government, the Metropolitan King County Council sets the policies, enacts the laws, and adopts the budgets that guide the largest jurisdiction in Washington State. Its mission is to protect public health and safety, enhance quality of life, and ensure public trust. This is a nonpartisan position. Members are elected by geographic district to four-year terms. This year, four of the nine council seats are up for election. Only two of those four seats will appear on the primary ballot, District 4 and District 8. If you live in one of those two districts, 
you will be able to cast a vote in the primary. The top two vote getters in those two districts will advance to the general election in November. I'm Becca Johnson Poppy, and I'm running to serve District 4 on King County Council. I know what it takes to move progressive policy forward in King County because I've been doing it for over a decade. As a budget and policy manager for King County, I direct half of the county's $16 billion budget, including metro transit and parks. I've advanced environmental and racial justice imperatives to create a $20 million climate equity program that funds green home energy conversions and new affordable housing. As the UW's Director of Policy, Planning, and State Operations, I implemented paid family and medical leave and championed legislation that delivered affordable higher education to thousands of new students. King County is bigger than 15 states. We have the responsibility to lead on issues from homelessness to transit to climate change. I will bring my experience getting things done at the county to ensure we protect our environment, advance equity, and grow our economy. Helping the unhoused is an urgent priority, and we must scale up supportive services that save lives and build healthy communities for everyone. We need safe, reliable public transportation throughout District 4, which is why I've proposed a transportation benefit district for the county. I will also increase investments in renewable energy and green development in public and private projects to ensure our region and world are livable for generations to come. Together, we can make real progress for our families, neighbors, and communities in District 4, and I would be honored to earn your vote. My endorsements include the National Women's Political Caucus, King County Young Democrats, UW Young Democrats, Public Lands Commissioner Hillary Franz, King County Councilmember Joe McDermott, State Representatives Liz Berry and Christine Reeves, Community Leaders Dorothy Bullitt and Carrie Moon, City Councilmember Lisa Herbold, former City Council Members Nick Licata and Abel Pachenko, and dozens of local business, nonprofit, and elected leaders. I would be honored to have your support. My name is Becca Johnson Poppy. Thank you. My name is Jorge Barón and I'm running to serve you on the King County Council because I believe that together we can build a stronger, more just future for everyone in King County. As an immigrant who arrived in the United States from Colombia at the age of 13 and who was bullied for not speaking English, and as the proud parent of a trans daughter, I understand the importance of confronting injustice. For the past 15 years as the Executive Director of the Northwest Immigrant Rights Project, I have been at the forefront of the fight for immigrant rights and working to serve marginalized communities. My track record reflects a proven ability to tackle complex challenges and build coalitions. From successfully halting deportations in the aftermath of the Trump travel ban to serving on the state task force on the use of deadly force in policing, I have consistently made a tangible impact by working alongside diverse communities to develop solutions. Now I aim to bring the same commitment to equity and justice to the King County Council. My vision for King County is rooted in integrity and service. I will invest in preventative, community-based, and data-driven approaches to improve public safety, climate resilience initiatives, universally affordable childcare, expanded behavioral health services, and a robust and sustainable transportation system. I am determined to develop affordable and dignified housing for all and lead on comprehensive strategies to support our unhoused neighbors. To realize this vision, I will work urgently with our state legislative partners to establish progressive revenue sources that are crucial for funding necessary investments in the future. With my understanding of the challenges faced by diverse communities in King County, I will be a strong advocate for equitable policies that address the needs of all residents. Collaboration will be critical to our success as we strive to ensure that Martin Luther King Jr. County is a welcoming and prosperous place for everyone. I am grateful to be endorsed by Washington Conservation Action and a coalition of local Democrats, labor unions, business, and community leaders, including Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, Representative Liz Berry, and others. To learn more about my campaign and all of my endorsements, please visit electjorgebaron.com. It would be an honor to earn your vote and continue serving our community. Hello, my name is Sarah Reinefeld, and I am running for King County Council position number four. I am a managing assistant attorney general, public school parent, transit writer, union member, community advocate, and 25 year district four neighbor. I am running for King County Council because we need bold and transformative action to urgently address the scale of the challenges facing our region. I'll bring my 20 year public service career in state and local government, advancing complex legal policy and budgetary solutions and building broad coalitions to deliver results for King County. 
As an assistant attorney general for over 10 years, I have fought for wages and protections for working families and held environmental violators accountable. Since 2016, I have served as the current council member, Jeannie Cole Wells, representative to the King County Women's Advisory Board, where I've worked with communities and council members to secure investments in affordable housing, behavioral health, childcare, and services for survivors of gender-based violence. I want to continue this track record of leadership, working with our communities to advance progressive, evidence-based solutions for King County. With your vote, I will fight for an equitable, sustainable, and just future, investing in solutions that center equity and opportunity. I'll work collaboratively with communities to build affordable housing and expand emergency shelter, behavioral health, and substance use treatment. I'll enact upstream solutions to improve public safety and prevent gun violence. I'll champion frequent, reliable, and safe transit service, urgently tackle the climate crisis, and protect our environment. I am proud to be endorsed by council members such as Cole Wells, Zahalai and Dembowski, statewide leaders such as A.G. Bob Ferguson and Lands Commissioner Hillary Franz, the Washington Conservation Action, National Women's Political Caucus, Democrats and unions such as the Seattle Building Trades, state employees and bus operators. I'd appreciate your support. Thank you. I'm Teresa Mosqueda, running for King County Council District 8. I'm running for the county because it is the place to be to improve population health, workforce housing, and invest in childcare, transit, and job training opportunities. At Seattle City Council, I've built broad coalitions and delivered on progressive and transformational change. I led the efforts on progressive revenue, affordable housing, community safety investments, small business supports, and groundbreaking worker protections through my now six years in office. And as your King County Council member, I will work to improve community health, access to housing, and greater shared prosperity for both workers and small businesses. I'm committed to addressing the compounding public health crises of violence, behavioral health, and substance abuse issues by increasing support for upstream investments, increasing support for our public health workforce, and implementing the new crisis care levy that I proudly helped craft last year. I will expedite solutions to fund and grow housing to prevent displacement and reduce sprawl. With reduced car emissions and global warming, this is not only good for our climate, it's good for our local economy and individual health. I will work to create economic opportunity for all by investing in childcare workers and improved affordability. I'll invest in transit workers and enhanced accessibility, and in job training and union apprenticeships for more workers to have economic security. I am proudly endorsed by U.S. Representative Pramila Jayapal, Attorney General Bob Ferguson, King County Executive Dow Constantine, Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell, and all of the endorsing unions that have endorsed for King County Council District 8 have endorsed me. Thanks to the 33rd, the 11th, and the 37th Legislative District Democrats who have endorsed me, along with Washington Conservation Action and Northwest Women's Political Caucus. Please join us. My name is Sophia Aragon, and I'm the mayor of the city of Burien. I'm running for King County Council District 8 because I want all county residents to thrive. This means making sure King County is a safe, healthy, and inclusive place where families can call home for a lifetime and businesses can take root. Growing up in South Seattle, my mom single-handedly supported our family of four. With a union job, she had a living wage and health care. My parents moved us to unincorporated King County for affordable housing. A safe neighborhood and a good public school was the goal. Like mom, I became a registered nurse. One of the best jobs I ever had was working in a community clinic in the Rainier Valley. I chose to serve people who often spoke different languages, were immigrants, low income, or struggled with housing. Nursing taught me how to be an advocate for others. I decided to step up that skill and become a lawyer to shape and develop public policy. In Olympia, I advocated for workplace safety, healthcare for all, and getting toxics out of the environment. Strong public policy creates opportunity. I want to create conditions where everyone has a chance to succeed. As mayor, I know representation matters. As a woman of color and Asian immigrant, I took a stand on anti-Asian hate. 
I support a co-response model for police and fire so that a mental health crisis is not treated like a crime. I promote collaboration between the county and cities in building affordable housing. I voted for federal ARPA dollars to go towards small businesses, expanding childcare and apprenticeships that lead to career. And I work to promote respectful debate on city council. So as count King County Council member, I will focus on common sense public safety measures with adequate police presence, a healthy environment and affordable housing for all so that all county residents have the opportunity to prosper. Port of Seattle. It's called the Port of Seattle, but the port is actually a county-wide municipal corporation that operates SeaTac Airport and the Marine Terminals with a focus on economic development for the region. Five commissioners are elected at large by all voters in King County. Two seats are up for election this year. One of these seats will appear on the primary ballot. Port commissioner is a nonpartisan position and each commissioner is elected to a four-year term. All voters in King County can vote for one port commissioner in each position on the ballot. The top two vote-getters will advance to the general election in November. The port management has issues that need to be fixed. As a major economic engine and job generator, Port has not been managing well with, with its revenue capital improvement project. With hundreds of million dollars of cost overrun, a billion dollar new terminal filled with financial construction and design problems. Hi, I'm Jesse Tam, a retired banker and a business consultant for the past four decades in King County. I'm running for the Port of Seattle Commissioner. My top priority is to protect our current jobs for the workers who live in wages, providing clean and green environment while strengthening our economy. As a founder of two community banks in Washington State, I provided financial services to minority and women businesses. I will continue such effort to create more jobs in this region. We need to address traffic and transportation issues in our area affecting our daily lives. The port has a lot of social responsibility. I will promote educational training apprenticeship programs for advancement of young people. I work with various nonprofit organizations to carry out programs to protect young people from human trafficking and working with programs to enhance our region with cleaner air. I have plans to tackle the cleanup as we promised and develop preventive plans for areas surrounding our port. With decades of real estate experience, I have worked with issues of industrial land and other real estate matters associated with the port's daily operation, with knowledge in development, construction, and property management. We must manage our port with strong fiscal responsibility, integrity, accountability, and transparency. As a result of being a well-managed port, we'll be able to distribute our prosperity equally among many co communities in our region. I believe in diversity, equity, and inclusion. I am endorsed by ATU 587 Labor Union, former Governor Gary Locke, and many others. I respectfully ask for your support. Thank you. It's been a great honor to serve the residents of King County the past seven and a half years on the Seattle Port Commission. I'm running for a third term to continue my environmental leadership, advancing a just and inclusive transition to a clean energy economy that generates living wage careers. My service is guided by a triple bottom line, commerce, community, and climate. I'm committed to expanding environmental and economic justice, especially for near poor communities, as well as small women and minority owned businesses. My experience is needed to exercise public policy direction over a growing airport, home port for Alaskan cruise ships and fishing fleet, marinas, parks, and a marine cargo alliance with the Port of Tacoma. The port generates 121,000 jobs, which is key to ongoing COVID recovery efforts. The airport and seaport have won awards for customer service, even while undergoing major construction. But port activities also impact communities and the climate. That's why I'm leading initiatives to electrify airport and seaport operations and to use alternative fuels for trucks, ships, and planes. I'm also committed to ensuring the protection and restoration of parks, bicycle safety, and cleanup of the Duwamish River. 
During my next term, I'll continue reducing the port's carbon footprint with unprecedented levels of state and federal funding for clean energy projects, inspire youth to pursue port-related jobs by promoting innovation, apprenticeships, and internships, and expand partnerships with tribes in the Seattle Aquarium for projects ranging from kelp to killer whales and ecotourism. With your support, I'll continue to champion port policies rooted in fiscal responsibility, ecological integrity, and I respectfully ask for your vote. And I'm proudly endorsed by Governor Inslee, Attorney General Ferguson, Lands Commissioner Franz, Seattle Mayor Harrell, County Executive Constantine, County Council Member Balducci, Washington Conservation Action, King County Democrats, labor unions and business leaders, and many others. You've just seen all the video statements recorded by candidates for county and port offices in King County. We will produce another video voter's guide for candidates who advance to the November general election. This program is a collaboration of the Seattle Ethics and Elections Commission, the Seattle Channel, and King County TV. Ballots will be sent to all registered voters. Look for your ballot in the mail after July 12th and vote and return it by Tuesday, August 1st. No stamp is needed to return your ballot. Ballots can be returned via U.S. mail or at one of King County's secured ballot drop boxes. Accessible voting centers, ABCs, are available to voters who need assistance completing their ballot. Ballots must be postmarked by August 1st. You can track the progress of your ballot online and find the location of drop boxes or AVCs by visiting King County Elections at kingcounty.gov elections. Thanks for joining us. We'd like to hear from you about the Video Voter's Guide. To comment on this guide, please call 206-684-8500.